His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, visited the General Command of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, upon arrival. His Majesty the King was welcomed by the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Naimi, and Chief of Staff, Lieutenant and General Dia bin Sagran Naimi. These senior officer, officers extended their sincere condolences to His Majesty the King over the loss of the fallen servicemen while performing their duty in defending the southern borders of Saudi Arabia as part of the Arab coalition forces, participating in Operation Decisive Storm and Restoring Hope. His Majesty the King confirmed that the fallen servicemen demonstrated the most profound example of heroism and loyalty, following the path of honorable ancestors, expressing appreciation to countries which have extended their condolences and affirmed solidarity against this terrorist act. His Majesty the King prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the two fallen servicemen in eternal peace, grant their families patience and solace and the injured a speedy recovery. His Majesty expressed his appreciation for and pride in all the brave members of the BDF for their constant keenness to carry out their lofty national duties with courage and sincere determination. During the meeting it was pointed out that if the Houthis denounce those behind the terrorist attack during the ongoing United Nations truce, they must arrest the perpetrators and hand them over to Bahrain or the Arab coalition so that the necessary legal action would be taken against them. His Majesty the King commended the BDF's procedures and services to repatriate the bodies of the fallen servicemen and the injured and praised the role of the Royal Medical Services in providing medical care for the injured. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received at Safriya Palace the families of the two martyrs, Lieutenant Dimbarak Ahaj Le Kubesi and Corporal Yaqub from the BDF duty force, who died while performing their national duty among the Arab coalition forces, participating in Operation Decisive Storm and dis Restoring Hope, stationed on the southern border of Saudi Arabia. During the reception, His Majesty the King expressed his sincere condolences to the families of the two martyrs, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest their souls in eternal peace and to bless their families with solace wishing the wounded a speedy recovery. His Majesty also prayed to Allah the Almighty to arrest the souls of all martyrs who defended their nations bravely in eternal peace. His Majesty affirmed that each martyr is a martyr for every Bahraini home and that even if they were captured they set the best examples for appreciation of the homeland through their steadfastness and high patriotism. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to Saudi Arabia for the medical care provided to the injured following the treacherous aggressive incident. The families of the two Martyrs extended their thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his condolences and sympathy, wishing him abundant health and happiness and expressing pride in their martyrs.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa received a telephone call from the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad al-Thani. The Qatari Emir expressed condolences to His Majesty the King following the martyrdom of a BDF officer and a non-commissioned officer and the injury of others while they were performing their duty of defending the southern border of Saudi Arabia as part of the Arab coalition participating in Operation Decisive Storm and Restoring Hope, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. The two sides also discussed the fraternal relations, the means to enhance and strengthen them, and the interdependence and fraternity between the two countries stressing the determination to strengthen the existing cooperation in various fields to fulfill the aspirations of the two brotherly people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of condolences from His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, offered his condolences to the families of the fallen servicemen who are participating in the operations of restoring hope and station on the southern border of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness, Prince Salman, said in the cable, As we mourn our brave soldiers who are performing their honorable national duty with courage, we affirm that with their pure blood, they wrote a heroic epic. They sacrificed what was precious and vulnerable to maintain and valuable to maintain security and stability in the southern border, and they never hesitated to sacrifice themselves for the sake of spreading peace and performing their mission to the fullest extent. The Deputy Supreme Commander prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the fallen servicemen's souls in eternal peace, paying tribute to their families and relatives to grant the injured a speedy recovery and to protect Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of condolences and sympathy from the Commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, regarding the martyrdom of a number of brave BDF members on the southern border of Saudi Arabia as part of the Arab coalition forces participating in Operation Decisive Storm and Restoring Hope. His Highness expresses deepest condolences and sincere sympathies to His Majesty the King on the martyrdom of an officer and a non-commissioned officer and the wounding of a number of brave men who sacrificed their lives in fulfillment of the sacred duty of defending the southern borders of Saudi Arabia. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest their souls in eternal peace and to bless their families with solace wishing the injured a speedy recovery. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of condolences telegram from the Minister of Royal Court Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa expressed deep sorrow over the martyrdom of a number of BDF members participating in the national duty of defending the southern borders of Saudi Arabia as part of the Arab coalition forces participating in operations, decisive storm, and in restoring hope. As a result of the treacherous act, they sacrificed their lives for the homeland while carrying out their national duty in order to support the issues of the Arab nation. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest their souls in eternal peace and to bless their families with solace, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from Bahrain Defense Force PDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The Commander in Chief expressed his condolences and sympathy to His Majesty the King over the tragic loss of the fallen servicemen Lieutenant Mbarak Hashid Zayed Al Gbesi and Corporal Yaqub Rahmad Mawlai Muhammad while performing their honorable national duty in defending the southern borders of Saudi Arabia as part of the Arab Coalition forces participating in operations decisive storm and restoring hope. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the fallen servicemen in eternal peace, giving their families patience and solace and for the injured a speedy recovery. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 86 of the year 2023, establishing a directorate at the Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission, LLOC, based on a proposal by LLOC President and following the approval of the Cabinet. The decree stipulates that legal coordination and follow up directorate shall be established at LLOC and shall generally be in charge of legal coordination, supervision, and follow up among relevant LLOC's directorates while exercising their tasks. It shall, in part, particular be responsible for the following coordination among relevant directors regarding the memoranda and legal tools issued by LLOC and following up on the completion of the topics referred to it supervising the implementation of LLOC strategic plan and preparing operational plans and their annual results in coordination with the rest of the directorates preparing the annual training plan 
or LLOC's members in coordination with the rest of the directors overseeing the implementation of the policies and procedures stipulated in the quality manual by relevant LLOC's directors and proposing appropriate changes to the quality policy. Other topics that the LLOC president deems appropriate to refer to it. The director is included in the structure of the commission's council. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued a Decree Law 12 of the year 2023, amending Article 4 of Law 38 of the year 2009, establishing the National Health Regulatory Authority based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty the King also issued Decree Law 13 of the year 2023, amending some provisions of Decree Law 15 of the year 1977 regarding the issuance of development bonds based on the proposal of the Minister of Finance and National Economy and following the approval of the Cabinet. Cabinet. His Majesty issued Decree Law 14 of the year 2023, amending some provisions of Law 16 of the year 2014 regarding the protection of state information and documents based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty the King also issued Decree Law 15 of the year 2023, amending some provisions of Decree Law 32 of the year 2020 regarding the rules of registration, safety and control of small vessels based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty issued a Decree Law 16 of the year 2023, amending some provisions of Decree Law 15 of the year 1986 regarding the regulation of tourism based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty the King also issued Decree Law 17 of the year 2023, amending some provisions of Law 33 of the year 2006 regarding sanitation and surface water drainage based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty also issued Decree Law 18 of the year 2023, amending some provisions of the telecommunications law issued by Decree Law 48 of the year 2002 based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty also issued Decree Law 19 of the year 2023, amending some provisions of Decree Law 42 of the year 1999, establishing the Bahrain Petroleum Company based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Majesty the King issued Decree Law 20 of the year 2023, adding a new clause, number 7, to paragraph C of Article 8 of Decree Law 78 of the year 2006, regarding unemployment insurance based on a proposal by the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa performed funeral prayers for two fallen servicemen from the Bahrain Defence Force who were honourably and loyally participating in Operation Decisive Storm and Operation Restoring Hope as part of the Arab Coalition Forces at the southern border of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness recalled the fallen soldiers who through their sacrifices showed their commitment, courage and loyalty to the Kingdom while performing their honourable national duty. His Royal Highness offered his condolences to the family families of the fallen servicemen and also expressed pride and compassion for their honorable sacrifices. Furthermore, he wished the injured a speedy recovery. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Forces, Highness Staff Colonel Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Naimi, and also performed the funeral prayers and offered their condolences to the families of the fallen servicemen. The BDF Commander-in-Chief, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Nasser, and his Highness Staff Colonel Sheikh Khalid expressed their pride in the BDF fallen servicemen for their sacrifices and loyalty to Bahrain and its citizens, adding that the BDF personnel will continue to be a source of pride and role models for Bahrain. Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allah 
During the burial ceremony and funeral prayers, His Royal Highness was accompanied by the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the BDF Chief of Staff, General Dia bin Sagr Al Naimi. This heinous terrorist act, which resulted in claiming the lives of an officer and a soldier from the Kingdom of Bahrain and wounding many others, did not respect a human obligation or recognize international covenant that was based on a ceasefire. Whoever committed this heinous crime has violated the international truce that was in force. The Arab coalition forces adhered to it in order to achieve the security and peace of the region in general, and Yemen in particular. The nature of this treacherous act claimed innocent souls who were martyred for the sake of peace and stability of the region. The Houthi militias claim that they had no hand in this heinous betrayal, but they are in the position of the first accusation, unless proven otherwise, and unless those who committed this attack are brought to justice. Denial does not save anyone from their crime unless they provide conclusive evidence. Great sacrifices, pure souls and continuous efforts have been made by the Bahrain Defense Force alongside their brothers from the Arab coalition to support legitimacy in Yemen and to preserve the security of the region and the southern borders of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The honorable martyrs were honored with great valor and courage. Their blood will not be in vain and their rights will not be lost in the face of justice so that they remain a symbol of generosity, honor and pride. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Commander of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh 
Muhammad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the two fallen BDF servicemen who were honorably and loyally participating in Operation Decisive Storm and Operation Restoring Hope as part of the Arab coalition forces at the southern border of Saudi Arabia. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest their souls in eternal peace and to bless their families with solace, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness said the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Minister of the Royal Court Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa for the two fallen BDF servicemen who are honorably and loyally participating in Operation Decisive Storm and Operation Restoring Hope as part of the Arab Coalition forces at the southern border of Saudi Arabia. His Highness Sheikh Ali noted the sacrifices of the fallen servicemen will always be remembered and wish the injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa extended his condolences to His Royal Highness for the two fallen servicemen from the Bahrain Defense Force, Lieutenant Mbarak Hashid Zayed Al Kbesi and Corporal Yaqub Rahmad Mulay Mohammed, who were honorably and loyally participating in Operation Decisive Storm and Operation Restoring Hope as part of the Arab Coalition forces at the southern border of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Sheikh Khalifa further wished the injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the Prime Minister of the State of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Sabah. During the telephone call, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed extended his condolences for the two fallen servicemen from the Bahrain Defense Force who were honorably and loyally participating in Operation Decisive Storm and Operation Restoring Hope as part of the Arab Coalition forces at the southern border of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Highness Sheikh Ahmed further wished the injured a speedy recovery and returned His Royal Highness. The Crown Prince and Prime Minister extended his gratitude for His Highness Sheikh Ahmed's heartfelt condolences. Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force BDF Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received the bodies of the fallen servicemen Lieutenant Mbarak Hashil Zayed Al Kbesi and Corporal Yaqub Rahmad Moulay Mohammed. The bodies of the fallen servicemen arrived on Monday at the Isa Air Base on board a Royal Bahraini Air Force military aircraft. A military ceremony was conducted. Present were head of the military office of His Majesty the King, Sheikh Abdullah bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Naimi, Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Naimi, Chief of Staff, and Senior BDF Officers. The Commander in Chief conveyed the condolences of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and, Prime and Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Prime Minister. Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the families of the fallen servicemen and their wishes of speedy recovery to the injured. The Commander in Chief also extended his condolences to the families, to all BDF personnel, and to the people of Bahrain on this loss. He expressed his appreciation for the fallen servicemen who honorably stood by their fellow servicemen in the Joint Arab Coalition to defend the southern borders of Saudi Arabia as part of the Operation's decisive storm and restoring hope. The servicemen lost their lives in a treacherous terrorist attack carried out by the Houthis using unmanned combat aerial vehicles, UCAVs, that targeted the sites of Bahraini forces stations along the southern borders of Saudi Arabia, in spite the halt of military operations by all sides.
The Bahrain Defense Force is making great efforts in carrying out its national role in defending the nation, protecting it and preserving its security, independence and sovereignty against any external threats in addition to supporting the public security forces and the National Guard in maintaining order and the rule of law. More in this report. The Bahrain Defense Force is the pillar of safety for security and stability, the symbol of national unity, the nation's shield and impenetrable fortress, the brave men of Bahrain, and many other phrases that have been used by the Bahrain Defense Force, the Ministry of Interior, the National Guard, and the security services in the kingdom, whose members are characterized by efficiency, professionalism, and high readiness, and their various heroic roles in defending their country. Each in their position, they sacrifice their lives in the arenas of pride and honor. The kingdom presented martyrs from its loyal sons, who proved that the kingdom will never hesitate in making sacrifices in order to preserve its principles and firm positions towards its citizens and towards its brothers from the GCC and the entire Arab and Islamic nations. In every field, the heroic men of Bahrain stood as an impenetrable shield in preserving the nation's security, sovereignty, and stability and protecting its gains. They recorded heroic contributions with the armed forces of the GCC in defending countries, in addition to cooperating with brotherly and friendly countries in peacekeeping operations and combating terrorism, preserving the security and stability of the region, protecting international shipping lanes, ensuring energy supplies, in addition to managing crises, confronting emergencies and disasters, mitigating their effects, and providing aid and support in humanitarian operations and relief work. The brave men of Bahrain always demonstrate the highest values of loyalty and bravery in carrying out various tasks in the fields of honor and heroism. The Kingdom of Bahrain will never forget its righteous sons, the martyrs of duty, who gave their pure blood in redemption for the homeland, and it will always cherish their noble sacrifices in performing the sacred national duty that they rose to carry out, carrying their souls, and the flags of their homeland will remain flying, and their heroism remains a sign of sacrifice. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Limsalim, condoled with His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al-Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid al-Khalifa over the loss of the fallen servicemen while performing their duty in defending the southern borders of Saudi Arabia as part of the Arab Coalition forces participating in Operation Decisive Storm and Restoring Hope. The Speaker prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest uh, these souls of the fallen servicemen in eternal peace, give their families patience and solace, and for the injured a speedy recovery. Alam Salam affirmed that the heroic BDF servicemen's sacrifices will forever be remembered as they represented the highest form of honorable sacrifice. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Salah Salah condoled with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, over the loss of Bahraini soldiers while performing their national duty within the Saudi led Arab coalition Al Hazm. The Shura Chairman affirmed that the sincere national sacrifices of the heroic BDF men will be immortal in the nation's memory, embodying the highest forms of giving redemption and sacrifice and reflecting the values of loyalty and belonging held by the righteous men of Bahrain as they sacrifice their lives to protect uh, the nation's interests. The Saudi Ministry of Foreign Affairs expressed the condemnation and denunciation of the treacherous attack on BDF member station on the southern border, which claimed the lives of two servicemen and several injuries. Saudi Arabia expresses sincere condolences to Bahrain's leadership and to the families of the martyrs. The kingdom affirmed its full support and solidarity with Bahrain and renewed its call for stopping the continued flow of weapons to the terrorist Houthi militia, preventing their export into Yemen and ensuring that they do not violate UN resolutions. Kuwait condemned the heinous attack on the Bahraini forces stationed in the southern borders of Saudi Arabia, which claimed the lives of two servicemen and several injuries. The Kuwaiti Ministry of Foreign Affairs said in a statement, Kuwait stands in full solidarity with Bahrain in the aftermath of the despicable aggression by Houthi militants. The ministry expressed sincere condolences to the leadership and the people of Bahrain and the families of the fallen servicemen and wished the injured a speedy recovery.
Herman condemned the attack against the BDF task force stationed along the southern borders of Saudi Arabia. In a statement issued by its foreign affairs ministry, Herman expressed its solidarity with the kingdom. It also offered condolences to the families of the fallen servicemen and wished the, uh, the wounded a speedy recovery. The Jordanian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates condemned the terrorist attack that targeted the Bahraini task force participating in the operations decisive storm and restoring hope in the southern borders of Saudi Arabia, which claimed the lives of a BDF officer and soldier and injured others. The ministry affirmed Jordan's solidarity with the Kingdom of Bahrain and its rejection and condemnation of the treacherous attack, offering its condolences to the government and the people of Bahrain and to the families of the fallen servicemen wishing the injured a speedy recovery. Egypt condemned the terrorist attack that targeted the Bahraini task force participating in the operations decisive storm and restoring hope in the southern borders of Saudi Arabia, which claimed the lives of BDF officers and officer and a soldier and injured others. It affirmed solidarity with Bahrain and its rejection and condemnation of the treacherous attack, offering its condolences to the government and the people of Bahrain and to the families of the fallen servicemen, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. Morocco strongly condemned the terrorist attack that targeted sites of Bahraini forces participating in operations decisive storm and restoring hope along the Saudi southern borders, which killed an injured BDF servicemen. A Ministry of Foreign Affairs, African Cooperation and Moroccan expatriate statement said that Morocco affirms its solidarity with Bahrain and stands by it following the cowardly terrorist attack. It also offered its condolences to Bahrain and the families of the fallen servicemen, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. Yemen condemned the terrorist drone attack carried out by the Houthi militia that targeted Bahraini forces stationed in the southern border of Saudi Arabia. The attack killed an injured serviceman from the BDF task force participating in the coalition to restore legitimacy in Yemen. The Yemeni foreign ministry issued a statement affirming its solidarity with Bahrain following the hostile attack. The ministry extended its condolences to Bahrain, its people and the families of the fallen servicemen. The GCC Secretary General Jassim Libdewi expressed his condolences and sympathy to His Majesty the King and the people of Bahrain following the death of a BDF officer and a soldier on while performing their duties in defending the southern borders of Saudi Arabia as part of the Arab Coalition forces participating in Operation Decisive Storm and, Rest and Restoring Hope. The GCC Secretary General extended his deepest condolences and sympathy to the families of the fallen servicemen and wished the injured servicemen a speedy recovery. The Secretary General of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC, condemned the terrorist attack that targeted the Bahrain Task Force participating in the operations decisive storm and restoring hope in the southern borders of Saudi Arabia, which claimed the lives of a BDF officer and a soldier and injured others. The OIC Secretary General Hussein Taha offered his condolences to the government and the people of Bahrain and to the families of the fallen servicemen, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adel Arsoumi, expressed condolences to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, as well as the BDF and the people of Bahrain following the terrorist attack that claimed the lives of an officer and a soldier and wounded many others in Saudi Arabia. He affirmed uh, the Arab Parliament's solidarity with the Kingdom, calling on the international community to take immediate measures against the Houthi militia. The Arab Observatory for Human Rights, AOHR, Board of Trustees condoled with His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister. The BDF and the people of Bahrain over the loss of the fallen servicemen while performing their duty in defending the southern borders of Saudi Arabia as part of the Arab Coalition Forces participating in Operation Decisive Storm and Restoring Hope. AOHR Board of Trustees mourned the fallen servicemen who sacrificed their lives in defense of the Arabic and Islamic nation, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest their souls in eternal peace. The U.S. Embassy in Manama and all the embassy employees expressed condolences and sincere sympathy with the families and friends of the BDF servicemen who sacrificed their lives while performing their national duty, wishing the wounded a speedy recovery. The U.S. Embassy also expressed its condolences to the government and people of Bahrain, stressing its support for Bahrain as a long-term ally and friend of the U.S.
The British Embassy in Manama expresses condolences to the government and people of Bahrain, BDF members who sacrificed their lives while performing the national duty on the southern Saudi border, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. The commander of the National Guard, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, met with commander of the 5th Corps of the Pakistani Army, Lieutenant General ba Babar Iftikhar. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa commended the advanced levels of cooperation in exchange of expertise between the National Guard and the Pakistan Army. He affirmed the continuation of efforts towards strengthening bilateral relations in the interests of the two nations. The meeting reviewed the topics of common interest and ways to develop cooperation and coordination at all military levels. The National Guard commander was briefed by Director. General of the Coast Guard, Brigadier Ghulam Abbas, about the tasks and duties of the Coast Guard and the various training and operational aspects of the Pakistani Coast Guard. Commander of the 5th Corps, Lieutenant General Babar Khtikhar, commended the strength of Pakistani Bahraini relations and the development and growth they are witnessing at various levels, extending his thanks to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed for his continued efforts in strengthening the close relations. His Majesty the King's Special Representative, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, conveyed the condolences of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and to the Kuwaiti Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, following the demise of Sheikh Mubarak Abdullah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak also offered condolences to His Highness Sheikh Nasser Al Muhammad Al Ahmed Al Sabah, Sheikh Jabr Al Abdullah Al Jabr Al Sabah. The the deceased brother and the head of the Kuwaiti Crown Prince's Court, Sheikh Ahmed Abdullah Al Ahmed Al Sabah, the deceased son, Sheikh Jabir Mubarak Abdullah Al Ahmed, and the members of Al Sabah family. This came as His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak paid a visit to Kuwait along with the advisor to His Majesty the King for Diplomatic Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Deputy Director General of the Royal Family Council, Sheikh Khalifa bin Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs held a meeting chaired by its chairman, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The council condemned the terrorist Houthi attack that claimed the lives of a Bahraini officer and soldier and wounded many others in Saudi Arabia who were part of the decisive storm and restoring hope operations despite a ceasefire that was in force. He expressed condolences to the members of the BDF and to the families of the martyrs and wished the, the injured a speedy recovery. On a separate topic, the council denounced the extremist group tearing up copies of the Holy Quran, stressing the need for serious work to immediately stop such sinful acts and hateful provocative attacks. The council then congratulated the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the king, government and people on Saudi National Day, pra praising the great achievements made by the kingdom in various fields. <laughs> 